Let's repeat part two. So we're prepping right now because I like multitasking. So if I'm cooking in a video, that's dinner. Because my props are all useful. A very useful prop. Came from France. So it's extra fancy. Yeah. Uh, I forgot I have a full face of makeup on and I'm gonna cry. Rude. Onions are so rude. Oh my God. Freaking love garlic. We have three bell peppers, red, orange, and yellow. Any colors will do. Full onion, 12, 12 cloves. This may be enough. Oh my God, the freaking onions. Oh, the freaking onions. I'm, I'm just, you know, taking precautions in case any vampires come. There's a vampire museum like near my house, very close. I don't think I'm allowed to video. It's like very serious, the vampire museum. All right, so this is how the videos come about. I was just about to smash my garlic with my new technique, which is smacking it with a frying pan and then peeling it. And I feel like that is interesting. So maybe I'll do that as Betsy. So we're gonna like smack it and that smushes all the garlic. So I have 12 cloves of garlic or you could do probably three or four if you are a normal human and not me. The meat that shall be hacked and whacked and chopped. It's bigger than the last one. That's what she said. Holy shit. It's a lot of freaking meat. Oh boy. This is like a, holy crap. Okay, we're gonna recoil. This, I'm just not comfortable handling this thing. That felt weird. Okie dokie, I just filmed the Butcher Pete part two video, did it in one shot and I'm satisfied enough. But I'm gonna finish prepping this. And I decided this is way too much meat for me and my husband to eat for dinner. So this is gonna go back in the freezer. Big old chunks. Time lapse. Meat containment. Golly, not even fit. Golly. Golly, gee whiz. Oh, Fiddle sticks. No oh, fiddle sticks. Come on. In you go. Done. Olive oil. I don't believe in measuring, so about two circles around the pan. And then we're gonna saute that garlic, toss in some salt and pepper. You just use your heart for these spices. Some oregano, a lot of oregano parsley lots of parsley just take that whole lid off a little bit of thyme got to crush, crush it, up. it up beautiful is what my grandmother would say looking at that stir that up throw in the onions and then just let them sweat let them sweat it out for making me cry earlier that's what they deserve they deserve to sweat then once they're done sweating you throw in the peppers and i like them blistered and Oh, that's my sauce. I made that the other day. I can show you that recipe too. I'm heating that up for the pasta. Now I made a little well and I'm gonna put the meat in now and I'm just gonna let it sit and brown for a while then stir it every few minutes until it gets like nice, crispy, caramelized on the edges. Bucatini is important. It's kind of, it's like spaghetti, but it's hollow in the middle and it's better. Just trust me, it's better. And then we're just gonna plate it all up Throw on some locatelli, must be locatelli, that's Pecorino Romano. And I'm gonna garnish it with some basil and delicately lift it up and like a lady, shove it in my face.